Hey everybody, welcome back to Tip of the Week. In this week's video, I want to share with you my tips and tricks for a faster and more organized workflow inside Onmon Photo Raw 2020. And with this video, we're basically going to go through a few different tips and shortcuts that you can use uh, to increase your workflow and also to stay a bit more organized whenever you're modifying a group of photographs or you're simply just using Photo Raw to organize your images. So we're going to start inside of the Browse module first and the Browse module is a good starting point because we begin all of our edits inside of the Browse module anyway. Whenever we open up Photo Raw, we're going to be starting inside of the Browse module. So one thing that I like to do inside of the Browse module that helps me stay organized and is a really quick way to just move things around is just to drag and drop. So inside Photo Raw, you can drag and drop with a lot of things to move them around. So let's say I want to move these top eight portraits here, these first eight, and I want to move them into a different uh, subfolder. Well, I can just select these portraits here, and then I can just click on them, and now I can drag over here into my local drives, my folders, and even down into my albums, and I can just drop these photographs in there, and it will place them into that different folder. So just click on them, and then just drag and drop, and then you're good to go. So besides dragging and dropping inside Photo Raw, one thing that I like to do to sort of speed up my workflow is to use keyboard shortcuts whenever I'm switching between the view modes. So inside of the Browse module, there's three kind of primary views that you can use to see your shots. There's Grid View Mode, which is this view here. There's Detail View Mode, which if I hit E on my keyboard, this will pull up the Detail View Mode, which is kind of the detail view of that photograph. And then we have Film Strip View Mode, which I can access by hitting F on my keyboard. And Film Strip View Mode is going to pull up the film strip of the photos in that folder, as well as a detailed view of your selected shot. So if I want to go back into the grid view, I can just hit G on my keyboard. That takes me back into the grid of photos. If I want detail view again, I can hit E on my keyboard. And then film strip is F on your keyboard. Now with these different view modes, one thing that a lot of people like to do, and myself including, is to use the film strip view mode to rate and cull your images. So I'm just going to select this photograph here. Actually, I'll just select this photo so I don't have a row of images. And we'll just start with this photograph here. And if I scroll over, you can see I have a ton of different portraits in this folder. Now, just for the sake of the video, let's say we don't like a few of these portraits and we want to remove them from this folder. Well, an easy way to rate and cull quickly is to make sure that you go up to your top bar, you click on Photo, and you make sure Auto Advance is selected. Now, with Auto Advanced selected and turned on, that means when you have a photograph, let's say we have this photograph, for example, and we want to rate through these portraits, we can do that by automatically advancing to the next one whenever we select a rating for the particular photo. So, to rate your images really quickly inside Photo Raw, I would just recommend using your keys on your keyboard. One through five will rate them either a one star or a five star, and then six through nine will modify the color rating. So let's just use a one through five on these portraits. So let's say I really like this portrait. I'll just hit five on my keyboard. And notice how it automatically advances to the next portrait. So I don't have to spend time clicking or anything to switch between the next photograph. I automatically am advancing because I have that auto advance turned on. So I can hit one, for example. It will advance me to the next one. One, five, five, and so on and so forth. So it will save you a lot of time whenever you're modifying or organizing a ton of photos because you can quickly switch to the next one. Another way that I like to stay organized inside of the Browse module is to use albums. So let's go back into our grid view by hitting G on our keyboard. And if we scroll down here, our albums live right below our cloud storage and this on one sync area. So the albums are a great way to stay organized by keeping track of the photos that you want to edit. So typically I like to use these albums for adding photos into uh, webinar presentations or for photo projects or things like that. So to create an album, one thing that I like to do before I create the actual album is I'll make sure that I have the photos that I want to add into it selected first. So let's say, for example, we want to add in these eight portraits. I'll select them over here inside of my grid view and then I'll head over to the albums pane. I'll click on the plus icon here. I'll create an album. I'll just type in portrait faves. But now I'm going to head down here and I'm going to click Add Selected Items. So that way, when I click OK, it immediately puts those photographs into that album. So I'll just hit Enter on my keyboard. And now if we scroll down here on the left, we can see that we've created this album, Portrait Faves. And if we click on it, now there's all those portraits that we were looking at 
earlier. And one thing we could do to stay a little bit more organized with these albums is we could create nested albums. So let's say we want to add in a landscape favorite as well. So let's go up here. I'll just click on this landscape folder. I'll use these landscapes. I'll select them. I'll click on the plus icon. I'll create an album. Make sure I add selected items. And I'll just type in the landscape faves. Boom. So now we have our uh, landscape faves and we have our portrait faves. So to create a nested album, I'm going to head up here. I'm going to create a new album and I'm just going to name this favorites. But I don't want to add selected items because I want this to be the top uh, folder for our nested album. So I'll just click OK. I'll head down here. I'll make sure that I have this favorites added. And then I can just drag my landscape faves in there and also my portrait faves in there. And now I can roll this open and I have a nested album for these two favorites of mine uh, that I can access anytime I open up Photo Raw. So those are some tips to using the Browse module, but what about transferring between the modules to use Develop or Effects, things like that? Well, inside of Browse, let's say we want to edit this photograph. I can head over here to the left side of my screen. I'll just click and hold on this edit till it pulls up these four. And if I want to know the keyboard shortcut to transferring into them, I can just hover over it. So switch to On One Develop, parentheses D will take me into the Develop tab. To go into Effects, it's S. To go into portrait, it's I. To use my local adjustments, it's A. So if we want to quickly head into the effects tab, I can just make sure this is selected and I'll hit S on my keyboard. And now I'm inside of the edit module inside of the effects tab and I can start adding different filters to my photograph. And inside of the edit module, we can still switch between different view modes by using our film strip view mode and our detail view mode. So if I want to open up the film strip view mode inside of the edit module, I can hit F on my keyboard. And now I have my film strip view mode with all of these different photos here. And a cool thing about uh, using layers inside Photo Raw is that I can actually click on these photos in the film strip and I can drag them in to this photograph and it will immediately add them into the layers pane so I can modify two photographs now by just dragging and dropping. So it's a really quick way if you want to bring in a sky swap or you bring in an extra layer of birds or something like that, you could just click and drag and drop and it will drop it into your layers pane automatically. Now let's say we're editing our photograph and we want to see the detail view mode. I can go back into the detail view mode of this shot just by hitting E on my keyboard. And now let's say we're editing this photograph and we have this area open and we're looking at these presets and we have this area open, but uh, what if we only want to see the photograph and we don't want to see anything else on the screen? Well, to remove this area and the area to the right, we can just hit tab on our keyboard. So by hitting tab, now we're basically in full screen view mode. And if I want to bring those back, I can just hit tab again, or I can head down and I can turn these off or on by these tabs down here. And the last thing I want to show you guys to stay organized and to keep your workflow fast is to rename your layers, your effects, and your adjustments. And it will help you stay organized and keep track of what you're applying to your shot. So in my layers pane, if I want to rename this crazy layer file, I can just rename it by double clicking and I'll rename it building. And then I can turn this off. This one is the hut, so I'll name that hut. And now I'm a lot more organized than just having a bunch of random letters on my file name. And same thing with filters. So I've added this filter onto the shot. It brings on a fade to the photograph. So if I turn this off and on, it brings a nice fade. I'll just double click it and I'll rename it fade. Same thing with local adjustments. This local adjustment is going to darken stuff. So I'll just double click the top. I'll rename it Darken. And now we've modified the names of these different layers and these effects and adjustments so that when we go back to an old photograph that we've edited, we can see which adjustment does which to our photograph. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned some tips and tricks for a faster workflow inside Photo Raw. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and stay updated whenever we drop new content. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend.